Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, we're back in the Prince Eugen here and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you enjoy all these but goodies. And uh, this is Prince Eugen, it's definitely an oldie. A goodie, not so sure anymore. But uh, I'm using an agile build here with Lutjens, all the usual things and the same build I use on my Hiba, really. Uh, the only difference is that uh, I've left the reload boost on the ship here. You can switch it for a sonar if you feel like it, but uh, I mean, I'm showing off the Eugen here, 2.2 rudder, and um, why not just keep it uh, different from Hiba, right? I mean, in normal gameplay, you wouldn't change your sonar. I mean, that's the whole thing with these ships here, but uh, it's pretty much on the only thing that sets Eugen apart from Hiba. And notice that I say apart, I don't say that it's better than Hiba because it's not. Hiba has a faster reload, it's more agile, and uh, yeah, you don't get you know, eight kilometer torps, but I don't think I've ever uh, really needed them because uh, once you brawl in Hiba, you're usually within six kilometers anyway. So uh, some people might ask, well, what's the point of Prince Eugen then? And uh, to that, I can only say I have no idea. And uh, look at all these incoming salvos here. It's always good to be the first one spotted. You know, you're going to get lots of action. Then. But uh, all we have to do is just make it in to uh, one of the islands surrounding the A-cap here. If I make it in there, then the red team, they are in trouble. Because uh, that's what you don't want a Hipper class. You don't want a Hipper class snuggling up here, uh, right next to a cap, and uh, able to ambush anybody who's trying to actually snatch that cap. Because I have my destroyer in there. So uh, I don't have to push in because the destroyer is doing the dirty work this time. So uh, I can just uh, you know turn out and uh, take some punishment there. But uh, it's all good. If uh, the destroyer has enough time to uh, cap and doesn't get disturbed, then uh, I can just uh, take you know the long way around this island here and try to ambush these guys here. Because all three of them have moved over on this side of the map and uh, that's excellent. Because uh, you, the more enemies you can gather in one spot, when you're in Eugen or Hippo or Mines or any of the German uh, agile cruisers, agile heavy cruisers, uh, then you're in for a good battle. So uh, I've got the Reds in like pretty weird position over here. They've all gone to the corner of the map and they're all shooting at me because, uh, well, it seems to be it seems to be the target of the day. So all I have to do now is just go dark and then I'm going to push right back in there. And uh, while I'm pushing in, it's someone else's turn to take some incoming fire. I've taken a lot in the opening minutes of this battle here. And it's all worked out because uh, as you can see, the Reds over on this flank here, they are uh, yeah, they're just in a really bad position and um, that's what you want. You want to uh, get people out of the comfort zone when you're rushing inside in a Hippo here because they know, or at least they should know, that if they let you get in there and snuggle up at an island, uh, that cap is going to be almost impossible to take without uh, someone just YOLOing in and taking a broadside of torps for the team. Um, I didn't do it in this case here because I had a really good DD with me and he almost finished capping before I even got to the island. So uh, that's why I turned around and I, I'm pulling off what I'm pulling off here. Uh, because there's no need. Um, if I didn't have the destroyer over here with me, well, it would be a totally different uh, thing. I would be inside the cap now. But uh, like I said, I have a great destroyer player, so uh, no need. And he's spotting for me. He's still sitting in the cap. So obviously, uh, make use of all the help you get from your teammates. You only have to do like Hail Marys in uh, these cruisers here when everything else fails. If you like spawn with two battleships over here and they're both reversing uh, or uh, who knows, it could be pretty much anything. I mean, anything goes in this game pretty much. So uh, we've denied them the cap and uh, now I've gone dark and I'm just sneaking up on the remaining two ships here because they still haven't pushed into the cap, which they really should be doing by now because uh, we don't have a battleship on this flank. Uh, I don't even know if we had, but if we did, he's the one gone now. <laughs> but uh, the destroyer is leaving because uh, he has better things to do. And uh, yeah, that makes sense because uh, I can defend this cap now. Uh, as long as we have this cap, um, then, you know, it's so much easier to defend the cap than to actually take it. And uh, you can see we have two out of three caps and uh, the Reds have no chance of getting the C cap in this game at all. So that's why the Flandre here, well, I'm guessing that's why that he's pushing in because he knows like, okay, I'm, we're going to have 
to start taking caps. Otherwise, we're going to lose on points. And we are only five minutes into the game. And uh, we are up nearly 300 points on them. <laughs> so uh, that's what I mean. All I have to do is reset this guy here. And um, the game is won, really. Um, we have quite an upper hand in ships. And uh, I know for a fact that there is a juicy British premium cruiser hiding in this smoke screen here. And uh, this is where I say, like, you don't switch off your sonar to get this reload boost because I've spent both my reload boosts now and uh, like I always spend them quickly because I mean I don't want to waste them and uh, Hippo has 10 second reload instead of 11 seconds so I mean there's really uh, no point in this reload boost here at all and nice citadels there I should have gotten more citadels there but uh, yeah that's such is such is life right so I gotta push in, I gotta reset this battleship here again because I don't want him to uh, actually grab the cap. Because as soon as I shot at him before, he got out of dodge and uh, just angling a little bit here in case he had his guns uh, pointing at me, but he didn't. So that means that uh, I can now punish this Plymouth here while still pushing in. And uh, right now I'm thinking, uh, I need to get the Plymouth out of here quickly because he's the one that can eat up my hit points fairly quickly with that AP. And uh, I'm getting so low on hit points now that I'm thinking, uh, I don't know if I should ram the battleship because the battleship still has a lot of health. And um, I can probably take one salvo head on, if that, maybe one salvo. So uh, there's the Plymouth and he gets off torps, but too late. Um, and like I said, I'm going to get a torp hit on the flounder here, but not enough. And uh, if you look what he's doing now, he's aiming dead straight at me and I'm contemplating my torps. But that means I have to show a little bit of broadside, and that's just what he's waiting for here. So it's rare, but I'm thinking, well, a ram is probably the better play here. So uh, he shoots, and it looks like he shot HE, so I could actually have gone away with uh, showing broadside, but I mean, you never know. <laughs> so uh, I still think this was the best play. I mean, sometimes the ram is the way to go, and uh, by doing this, there's only one destroyer left, and uh, we have two caps, and we are way ahead on points. like. The enemies only have 52 points. <laughs> so, um, pretty good Prince Eugen uh, demonstration here. I think 150,000 damage, two kills, high caliber in like eight minutes or something like that. And uh, I had a great destroyer player on my side, yes, um, but I don't need him. Like I said in the beginning, instead of turning out, I could have just turned into the cap and, uh, you know, taken up a position behind the island that's closest to the Reds making it really difficult for them to push me out, especially if, you know, my team actually uh, supports me, at least one battleship supports me, uh, then, well, it's almost impossible. So anyway, not much is going to happen here, so I'm just going to skip the last part here. But uh, that was Prince Eugen, tier 7 uh, German heavy cruiser with an agile build, and uh, used to be a really good ship, but since Hippa got buffed, there's no point in this ship, so don't spend any XP on it, because uh, at least not until it gets buffed, because it should be buffed at some point. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video here, guys, and I'll see you out there.